Hi everyone, welcome back to Falcon's House. Sorry content has been a little slow lately, as there haven't been very many trailers for creating projector videos, and I still have not replaced the bulb for the projector yet, so that video is still going to come out, it just not quite yet. Maybe this weekend, maybe later. I've just been really busy on the weekends lately, so I haven't had time to do it. It still seems to be working fine, like there's still plenty of brightness and whatever. It's just warning me every time that it's time to replace the, the bulb. Another piece of upcoming content I'm going to have is going to be about the Eve Spectrum monitor line. I recently pre-ordered one, and we'll review it on here, but it's not supposed to come out until Q4 of this year, so it's still six months or nine months or even maybe 12 months away from being released. It could be a while before it comes out. And potentially I'm still looking at other monitors. I still really want an ultra wide, but their set of monitors is based on a brand new panel from LG and it's going to have very good specs. They're, they have three monitors. I'll link to their site in the description. They have had some issues with shipping products previously, so I don't know if I fully trust them but they were really responsive on their website with answering my questions and being very direct about what they're trying to do. And they're a community-based development team. It's not quite open source, but it's closer to open source than like no community involvement in the project. So they tried to make a monitor that appealed to as many people as possible. So I I'm kind of interested in it enough to put down a hundred dollar pre-order and it is fully refundable up until the time when it ships and then i'll owe another five hundred dollars and i plan on being very active in their community so if things change if they can't meet the requirements or specs i'll just cancel and i'll post an update video on it but i don't really know how often updates are going to happen or anything at this point so i don't know how much content but they have announced three monitors at this time, 1440p, 144Hz, HDR 400 monitor, a 1440p, 240Hz, HDR 600 monitor, which is the one that I ordered, which has a lot of brightness for doing backlight strobing to, without causing it to dim too much. The one downside to this is it's using an LG panel that doesn't ha typically have a lot of contrast ratio. So blacks don't look that black. And so there's potentially still some issues that they're going to have to work out, but we'll see how it goes. And the last one they offer is a 4K 144 Hertz monitor. That's also HDR 600. That's also really good. And all these monitors are in the, the cheapest ones, 360, I think now, and the 500 and then $600, which are way cheaper than competing, competing monitors. I guess the base one isn't because there's a Dell monitor that is about $330 right now. It's 32 inches and otherwise meets all the other same specs. But the other higher end monitors are about $200 cheaper than the equivalent from LG or another manufacturer. And I plan on doing a separate video about that showing a lot more information. The other announcement that I have right now is that I am collaborating with my friend who started streaming on Mixer, and I'll be doing some stream highlight videos of his content. It depends on what comes up. It, there won't be necessarily regular content, but it'll I'll show as much as I can that is worthwhile to show. And then I'll, I'll have a little bit more on here than just the projector stuff, since I haven't been doing TV show reviews. I haven't really been watching anything that really stands out as needing it. The Expanse is the main show that I've been watching, and I've seen it before. I'm almost caught up to the current season. I think it is a very good show, but it does not need individual episode breakdowns. I finished Mr. Robot. I was mildly disappointed with the ending. It was still pretty good, but I don't think it needs individual episode recaps either. So until the next season of Westworld comes out later this year, I don't really have any TV content that needs to be done. However, so since I'm going to be collaborating with him on his stream and he will be doing a lot of content for me, basically, I'm, I'm going to help push his channel and 
he is doing a currently he is doing a twenty dollar gift card giveaway of for your platform of choice for switch xbox playstation steam whatever wherever you want your twenty dollar gift card in he will do it once he reaches 50 followers on his mixer channel and so you just have to follow him right now he's at about 30 so he'll do it fairly soon so I encourage you to follow him, and it's at mixer.com slash superfine, and I'll have the link in the video description as well. And this is also going to probably get me to push some more of my own gaming content. I recently started playing Elite Dangerous, which while it's an older game, it's going to have a bunch of content coming out this year and fixes, and it still looks very good. I really wish I had a VR headset, and that's part of why I want to get an upgraded monitor is to push a whole system upgrade that can support all that. So I might do something as well if I reach 100 subs and do a giveaway similar to what he's done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.